Good morning. We're going to do a very rare little video for you this morning because we want to introduce an exciting new product from Hike Vision. It's their 5 gigahertz, 5 kilometer range wireless bridge. Obviously a big competitor to our existing Unify Locos that you've been using for years, but we're delighted to introduce this product. Um, it has a few advantages. It's a kit, so it's prepared. It's preset to Ireland. So there's absolutely nothing you need to do configuration wise with apps or laptops or anything like that. These guys are ready to hang. So we'll do a bit of an unboxing and show you what comes in the box. And then I will show you the LAN connectors, uh, talk about the PoE details, and we'll run through the LED indicators on them. Uh, no laptop required, no phone app required. Everything is ready to go. So I'm sure you guys are gonna be delighted with them. So let's have a look. So let's have a look at what's in the box. The Hike Vision Wireless Bridge Kit. So these are coming prepared and preset for Ireland, which is really handy. So there's absolutely no programming necessary. Maybe in the future we'll do a deeper dive and we will program them, look at the web interface and everything. But as far as you're concerned, if you buy a pair of these, they're pre-programmed, ready to go, um, with no extra work needed from your laptop, your phone, anything like that. So in the box, what do we get? Manual, manual, not needed. Two of these guys, we'll dig into them in great detail shortly. We get four decent cable ties for pole mounting, built in pole mount here. We get two decent PoE injectors, uh, 48 volt, PoE in and LAN. And two of these corded uh, plugs for the injectors with the correct Ireland fittings. So everything you need is there. Let's set them up and have a look. Okay, so let's look at them in more detail and then we'll power them up and pair them off and, and see what happens. So they look similar, but they're slightly different. You'll see here the CPE and the AP. So AP is our access point, the receiver if you like. So this generally will go in the, the house end uh, of the sort of situations you guys are working on, where you put one at the house, you're putting a camera or an intercom down at the gate, you're setting up a, a calving system. So one of these at the farmhouse and the other end down at the, the shed, that sort of situation. So they're clearly marked AP. CP or what we call the station or the transmitter. These support a maximum of, of four transmitters to, to one station. But generally, I think we focus on these as a, as a one to one initially and we'll stick with the Unify locals for anything more complicated than that. We can add units to this, but seeing as these are already pre programmed, we're going to just sell these as a, as a one to one initially. Um, just note the serial numbers are exactly the same on the two of them. So these are, are treated as a kit. We're going to look at this guy first under here. A little clip to open it. And we have our PoE in, our slant to out, the DC for the power supply I showed you a while ago, and a reset button. Okay, this is your standard PoE input. So thinking of this again, back at the main building, Hopefully you have access to a PoE switch to power this guy, which rules out any extra cable you needed for the power supply. It's a standard 802.3 AF or AT PoE. Um, so most of your switches should support that. There's no PoE out on this and just a standard LAN port, 100 meg to link up with any additional kit you might need. Reset, uh, if you do run into trouble and need to reset these to factory, hold it in for four seconds while the other is on and we'll reset. And remember, resetting it brings it back into the way it is now, a standard pair set up for Ireland. Subtle difference over on the, the transmitter end. Okay, we have gray ports. Okay, this is a non-standard PoE, so we're gonna to need to use the injector here. But the advantage on this end is we have PoE out on LAN 2. 
So that's really useful for the sort of situations you guys are going to be doing. You know, imagine this on a pole uh, down at the gates. You can just uh, patch lead into a camera or the door station part of an intercom. Um, no additional power needed. So POE um, pass through onto land two. Really neat. No need for additional switches at the pole. No need for weatherproof boxes, anything like that. And then the same optional um, 12 volt DC in and the same reset button. Okay, so just note the difference. Um, really, the POE pass through is the big difference. So that's indicated by the change in color to gray. So I've powered up the two units. Okay, this is the, the access point. So we're imagining this back at the main building. So I've just used patch lead into our POE switch here in Mercury. So that's all I needed to get this guy powered up. Over here, this is our remote end. So we're picturing this down the shed, down at the gate, up a pole. So as I mentioned, this one does need the injector. So I have local power in the injector and it's powered up. So let's have a look and see what we can tell from the indicators. So as I mentioned, we don't need any app, we don't need a laptop. We can do everything just with these units themselves. So let's have a look at these indicators. Power, obvious enough. LAN 1 traffic, LAN 2 traffic, if I had something plugged in there, I don't. And then these are the important ones, these are our signal strength indicators. All three lights means we have an excellent signal. Two of them means we have a good signal and you're good to go with that. One, we're at the weak end of the scale, so you should probably look at your alignment, get these guys facing each other a bit better. Um, no lights means we have no link at all. And these are mirrored, obviously, on the remote side, we get the same lights here. So what we're going to do now is plug in our camera and watch the POE pass through in action. So we have LEDs on this camera that should light up pretty quick when it gets power. There. There we go. So camera join power just for a POE pass through. Really useful feature. Works just the same for intercoms, etc. And now I should see some land two traffic. And there we go. Happy to walk away now. Full signal strength, camera working. Happy days. So that's it, simple as that. That's the new Hike Vision Wireless Bridge. Range is up to five kilometers, but that's really a rare use case. We find most of the jobs you guys are doing are well under a kilometer. Um, so up to a kilometer, you're looking at probably 18 two megapixel cameras. So great capacity on a, on a good link there. Um, we have bought in a small batch of these. We're gonna be pushing them out in November, see how they get on out in the field. And I think then from January, we'll be seeing a lot more of these. Um, I'd like to say thanks to Ken in Hike Vision, who put up a lot of back and forth with me last year. There was a few things we didn't like in the early versions of this, but he's, he's delivered uh, really good improvements. The, the POE passed through was one thing we've, we felt was very important. The injectors have been beefed up as well, um, and it really is a super kit. So any questions, as always, give us a call, and we look forward to seeing how you get on with them. Thank you.